गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबाडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम यूरो सैटरडे 2022 एंड वी आर इन पेरिस एंड वी आर हियर विद अ ब्रांड व्हिच इज आवर वेरी ओन इंडियन एमकेयू द बैचेस फॉर द शो इफ यू सी दिस ईयर इट हैज एमकेयू ऑन इट द स्ट्रिंग्स ऑफ द बैचेस हैज एमकेयू ऑन इट and uh, definitely it's one of the biggest landmarks when you are going on to the periphery when you enter the hall 6 and we have with us the managing director mr neeraj gupta uh, neeraj ji most welcome to adu's chat room wonderful to have you here and tell us one thing what is like to be a part of the planning of euro saturday it's a great show it gives us global exposure we have been exhibiting at eurosat free since uh, 2004 regularly uh, it gives us uh, i would say exposure to meet international end users international clients and that helps us to really develop a new and new technologies at eurosat free we are able to meet end users to understand their uh, requirements their uh, needs their pain points and then accordingly at mku we really believe in smart trinity which is of uh, smart functionality smart technology and smart uh, uh, features so with this uh, our team develops uh, unique uh, products and we are exhibiting here at eurosatri and what a better place it can be to exhibit at eurosatri which is a global show uh, the scale and size it's unmatched anywhere in the world yes and absolutely uh, to be just exhibiting but to be a part of the show's uh, major administrative activity well that is a great development and a great uh, you know privilege for india to be uh, seen on every card every batch and uh, continuing from here i would really like to understand you already have a very big european market so what is the need the need is constantly as the i would say the geopolitical situation are changing as the needs are changing so we cannot stop at one point of time so it is what a better place as i said to meet the end users at one place so i think this gives us an exposure uh, to showcase our products and technologies and to meet the end users and also uh, you know you have here at euro saturday a lot of uh, exhibitors from the various continents uh, which might not have such big manufacturing bases so uh, have you been trying to get a foray into south america africa middle east uh, what is the strategy for export promotion in these areas as you know that we have already been exporting to more than 100 countries 230 forces all around the world are using products from mku we have been empowering 3 million soldiers till now we have empowered 3 3000 platforms and now the newest wing which is uh, i would say netro soldier optronics and netro soldier platforms uh, is a new uh, division that is uh, creating and we are empowering soldiers with regards to africa or south america we already have a strong presence in these markets and also we are now looking at expanding our manufacturing base in one of these uh, continents as well right i mean to be more closer to the customers mm -hmm. and to serve them uh, on a regular basis on, on a, and to understand their needs better uh, which is actually a wonderful exercise so i wanted to understand from you that uh, you also have facilities outside india so can you tell us something about them we have uh, operations in germany we have operations in emirates and uh, as you can see that a uh, lot and lot uh, like for example today the european union they want to uh, buy most of the equipment within from european union uh, countries so that helps us a lot you can see that uh, germany has announced a 100 billion dollar worth of investment in next 3 4 years so mku is very well positioned to cater to those markets as well so uh, so mku germany brings a special uh i would say a uh, special position to mku to participate in all the nato and european countries uh M our facility in uae uh, helps us to be close to the customers in the mina region and africa region so 
that's the strategy going forward and also we are looking at uh, expanding our locations globally and uh, you know when any defense company expands and things beyond horizons us is a very big uh, target for everyone so does mku have us on its uh, agenda uh, we are certainly looking at uh, options in us and uh, as a company we believe that uh, we will be looking at uh, an acquisitions in near future in us uh, to serve to the us customers needs and uh, before we wind up i'd like to ask you that uh, how with everything very good abroad more than 100 countries more than 200 militaries uh, what is the status mku has in india in its supplies to the indian uh, forces indian paramilitary in, in uh, india i would say you name the force they have we have been able to serve them and i would say most recent i would say that we concluded the contract of 160000 helmets uh, that's the first uh, helmet uh, ballistic helmet that indian army has got we are up armoring helicopters as well uh, we are now supplying electro optical equipments to indian forces so practically every force has been a customer and can be it's an important uh, market for us and continues to be the biggest market for india and one one little thing which comes to my mind before i say bye to you is that uh, the f- air forces and the navies of the world uh, you know mku seen less in them so what is the expansion plan for these two forces uh, first of all i would say as far as air force is concerned uh, we have very special technology for armoring their uh, uh, helicopters which we do in india and globally successfully Uh, till date we have armored more than uh, 500 uh, helicopters of at least 20 different types with regards to uh, on the naval side we have done uh, 80 fic boats for indian army uh, after uh, the attacks in mumbai india wanted to buy 200 uh, uh, fast patrol boats to be armored it was mku who did that at that point of time it was only mku who had the capability to make uh, boat armor and regularly we do a palmering of heli uh, frigates and um, uh, large boats from our facility in germany wonderful that that is something which really i'm sure the audience will be very happy to uh, you know understand uh, so i think this is just wonderful thank you so much neeraj ji for being with us on adu's chat room and we look forward to more and more and more galloping expansion of mku thank you very much Thank you so much Sangeeta ji thank you so much for the